Last night, the regional chapter of the Moral Majority met at Senator Kennedy's home and uh, <laughs> appointed and anointed him as local chairman. And uh, we, <laughs> we had the advantage of the fact that he, his mother, is a fundamentalist in a lot of ways, <laughs> in a lot of ways. So he had a little experience with us. You know, I was in this room just the other night when the senator's name was taken in vain. I was here when the Washington Press Club was honoring the Congress and as John Reagan slept. And uh, I, uh, John D. Rockefeller IV uh, was as a freshman senator from West Virginia being roasted and he came to the flat platform telling about the, the terrible experience of moving here looking for property. And uh, he said, You'd, you wouldn't believe the prices that only a Kennedy could afford this kind of land. <laughs> and <laughs> finally he said, uh, you know, you'd never believe what they want for the ellipse. <laughs> and but his wife had decided never to let him run for president because she didn't want to move into a smaller house. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> I know the senator had to feel walking into this group much like Daniel did walking into the lion's den and much like I did walking into Harvard. But I agree, I concur with what the senator has said here this morning, that we have one very basic common denominator that equates every one of us, and that is we are free-born Americans and we are charged with the responsibility of keeping this the bastion of freedom at any price for our children's and children's children's sake. And Senator, thank you for coming here today very, very much. <laughs> America enters the second half of the 1980s, a period some have properly called a decade of destiny, faced with some very crucial and complicated issues, problems that we no longer can ignore or allow to go unsolved. We have an overwhelming and spiraling deficit caused by 50 years of new deals and bad deals and great societies and sick societies and a prevailing philosophy within both major political parties that we can eventually spend ourselves out of debt. 